Hey guys, so today I filmed for you another really spring and summer colorful look. I am so in love with this look. I mean, I say that about all of my looks, but this one in particular because green shadows have a special place in my heart. I don't know why, I just absolutely love green shadows and I just have a thing for green. So I created this really cool exotic sort of smoky eye. Obviously it's gotta be smoky, it's me. If it's not smoky, it's not me. <laughs> and I paired it with this like peachy coral muted lip. It's absolutely beautiful. It matches my crease like there's no tomorrow. Like literally perfect shade to the crease shadow. I feel so complete, it was beautiful. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this look and if you guys wanna stick around to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. So the first shadow that I'm going into is Makeup Geek Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Tuscan Sun. So on my Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm going to start, I just said that really weird, I'm going to start running this through my crease. How beautiful is this shadow? It is absolutely gorgeous. It's so spring and summer. I love it so much and I feel like it's really going to complement this entire makeup look. I'm then going into Makeup Geek Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Wild West. Now my Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush, I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease. I seriously cannot get enough of how soft and blendable and creamy these eyeshadows are. And I'm pretty sure these are the reformulated mattes also, so they have a new formula and they're absolutely amazing. So blendable, so creamy, and when you swatch them, they literally feel like butter. And now I'm picking up Tuscan Sun again on the tip of my E25 Blending Brush. And I'm just going to apply this at the very high point of my crease because I really want this sort of peachy shadow to really peek through and be the standout in this crease area. Now for this gorgeous green, this is Makeup Geek Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Venom. Get ready to die and go to heaven once you see the shadow. I'm picking it up on my Sigma E58 Cream Color Brush. This is a synthetic brush. I said that really weird. I can't talk today. It's a synthetic brush, so I feel like Picking up sparkly shadows is so much better and they apply better with synthetic brushes. So I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Like, wait, do you see the pigment? Do you see that? That is insane. Oh my god. I absolutely love this shadow. It's so beautiful and has such pretty reflect of that little slight gold in it. Oh, it's so pretty. And I know the lid is cool tone. The green is a cool tone shadow. But I feel like I really like to mix it up and apply really like cool tone and warm tone shadows and combine them and see what kind of looks I can create. I feel like it's really fun and different. So that's why I wanted to keep my crease warm and then my lid cool. Now I picked up a little bit of Wild West on my E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush again. And all I'm going to do is just lightly apply this on the outer corner and then through my crease. That's just going to blend out that green just a little bit and plus add a little bit of depth and darkness to my crease again. For my brow bone, I'm picking up Makeup Geek Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Mirage. Now I'm just going to apply this on the high point of my brow, and because this shadow doesn't have shimmer, it just has like the slightest sheen, I can blend it down just to clean up the edges if I went too far with my crease shadow. So now for my lower lash line, I'm going to start applying Tuscan Sun, and I'm stopping it right here. I'm not going to touch the inner corner or apply any shadow there just yet. And now I'm going to go in with Wild West. So first I'm going to start running this on my lash line and smoking that out. And then as I get in the inner corner, I'm going to angle that down so it sort of tapers down into a little point. I want to keep this inner corner empty because I am going to be applying that gold shadow there. Now for that gold in my inner corner, I'm picking up Makeup Geek Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Casino. And now I'm picking up this shadow on my Sigma E65 small angle brush and I'm just going to start applying that right in that little corner and then on my inner corner right here. To line my waterline and tightline, I'm picking up Star Looks Luxe Longwear Eye Pencil in Jet. So now I'm just going to line my waterline and tightline with this liner. This liner is so creamy and do you see that? I am barely touching my waterline and it's super creamy and black. And it's actually pretty waterproof also. It stayed on pretty well. So now I'm going to apply some mascara and falsies. And the lashes that I'm using are these Esquito lashes and Voila Lash. And I'll be right back to show you the finished look. And that's the eye look done. Okay, so now for my lips. I want to keep my lips peachy and really tie in the entire look and match it with the crease. I found the perfect 
lipstick for this. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills New Spring Lipstick in Liquid Lipstick in Dolce. It is literally identical to my crease, so I'm so excited to use this because I feel like it's just going to really tie in the entire look. And I'm so obsessed with the look already. I just feel very like summery and just like exotic and yeah. So <laughs> now I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. So this is the finished look of my green smoky eye that's perfect for spring and summer paired with a peachy coral lip. I hope you guys enjoyed. I absolutely love this look as I mentioned in the beginning. If you really are going to get any shadow, I mean all of the new Makeup Geek shadows are absolutely amazing. Like one of the best formulated shadows I've ever seen right now to date. Um, the new Makeup Geek matte formulated shadows are just something special. And this green. Let me tell you about this green shadow. Venom by Makeup Geek. You are a special little guy. This is perfection in a pan. I love green shadows. Absolutely love them. And this one is just so stunning. I love how it's not like super green that it's not wearable, but it's like the most perfect wearable green that has reflex and shimmer. And it's just, you guys know I love applying shimmery shadows and foiled shadows with my finger to get the most pigmentation and opacity. But this one I literally just did with my brush and I was good to go. So you guys need to get your hands on Venom because it is just stunning. But every single one of the new Makeup Geek shadows, there's nine mattes and nine shimmeries. If you guys want a swatch video, let me know. I'll definitely do that for you guys next. Um, they are absolutely amazing. Swatch so beautifully. The range of shadows are so beautiful. I love a brand that has colorful shadows. Like, if I were ever to create my own makeup line, I would have so many colorful shadows because I feel like you can only have so many brows. I mean, that's just me. I mean, because I'm not a neutral type of person, but a lot of people would rather just have neutrals in their collection, but I like color. Like, I like to see a line of shadows, and I like to see more color than more neutrals. So that's just me, but the entire collection is just stunning. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going off on a little rant because I'm just so excited about this shadow and all these new shadows. They're just so beautiful. Um, with the inner corner, I think it's such a cool, interesting effect to do with your lower lash line to really just bring that down into your tear duct. You could definitely do like a black smoky eye or any type of Luke. Luke. What? Any type of look. Any type of dramatic look or even wearable look or something neutral. Bring down your inner corner, pop a color through your inner corner and or maybe a silver or gold or even a glitter that would look so good. So yeah, that could definitely take your look to the next level, which would be really, really pretty. Whew, I feel like I've been talking for a while. Okay, so you guys can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. They'll be right here as well as down in the description box down there. All the list of all the pro- What? The list of all the products that I use today will be down there as well. And subscribe, like this channel. What am I saying? I have been talking for way too long. Subscribe like this video and that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!